Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and this is Terry Castrino at Bruin News Now's Bruin Sports Radio broadcast. Tonight, our live webcast of Bruin basketball here at the St. Joe campus in the Bruin Den. Tonight's big game will feature the Bruins hosting Florence tonight in a huge matchup here, early season matchup here on the St. Joe campus. We are about seven minutes and 55 seconds away from tonight's game. As the Bruins, as you can tell, are warming up here on the floor. And the Bruins enter the game tonight undefeated, 4-0 record. Uh, they have had, um, they're coming off a big game uh, on the seventh against Puckett, where they played at Puckett, and they won 67 to 26. Other games in which they played, they played St. Al and won 69 to 20, and Richland 39 to 20. So tonight's a big game early in the season as the Bruins try to keep their perfect record heading into the meat of the season. Uh, quick uh, look at, at scoreboards right now around the country. There's two big college football games happening right now. It's uh, four seconds to go in the first half of the game at USM, uh, USM and Louisiana Raging Cajuns. And you've got a tied game here with 14 all. Uh, then at the half, it's Louisville, 14 over UVA, zero. Those are the two big college football games being played tonight. Uh, tonight's broadcast and live webcast is brought to you by C Spire. St. Dominic's, Bright Business Solutions, Sal and Mookie's Madison, Orange Theory Fitness, Hattiesburg, Gina Diamond's Flower Company, Watkins Construction and Roofing, The Irwin Family, Young Wells Williams Attorneys at Law, The Jones Family, Poyacano Consulting, Equity Plus Management, Glitz Events and Creations, Baptist Sleep Disorder Center, Marketing Design, Mr. Marcus Berger, the Insurance Center, Benchmark Engineering and Surveying LLC, Sal and Mookie's Madison, the Vandaloo Family, BP Electric Company, Orange Theory Fitness Hattiesburg, Alexander Law, Venable Glass, D1 Construction and Concrete, Sameco, Best Nails, Loyacano Consulting, Key Trust Properties, Ozman Insurance Company, Blue Sky Landscaping and Maintenance, m &O Facility Services, Marin Marvel, Bradley Anderson, and Tardy LLC, Downtown Basils, Leonard Protective Services, Bank Plus, and Sister Thea Bowman Catholic School. We are here in the Bruin Den where the Bruins are preparing to take on Florence in tonight's big game. Again, the Bruins are trying to stay undefeated tonight early in the season. And tonight calling the game will be Malik Yeju and Nick Berger. And I'm going to turn it over to our hosts tonight as they take a look and, and kind of talk a little bit about what to expect at tonight's game. This is Bruin Sports Radio live on the Bruin News Now YouTube channel. And hope you enjoy the game. Stay tuned. Hold on. Folks, we're back. Folks, we're back. How are you doing, Bruin fans? I'm Nick Berger, and we're here with Malik Yeju. You ready yes, to get sir. this boys' uh, season started? Most first definitely. Home, first home game. Uh, Bruins did well uh, on their first opener. Yeah, I think they won about by like 20. Yeah, yeah, last yeah, game. yeah, yeah. They've been have uh, little scrimmages over over like the off season and ready to see what they can put on for our home crowd tonight. Got the student section over there ready to cheer on the Bruin fans. Yep, looks like the theme's blue and gold. Yep, 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 yep. Everybody's got their St. Joe stuff on. Yep. About three minutes, 45 seconds till the uh, game starts. So Nick, uh, for St. Joe's side, me and Gibby, we usually do a sneaker of the game. 
Who has yeah. the best sneakers on tonight? Uh, I would give it to Brandon. I like the little KDs he has on. I think those are. Uh, yeah, they look tough. Yeah, they look tough. But I also like BJ. BJ got the Harden, the new Harden that, that just came out. Or uh, oh, I see my boy Chris over there. He got oh. the the Mamba Sitas on. Mm. Them, them tough. Them tough. Them tough. Them tough. They just came out like last year, I think. Yeah. Those are cold. Yeah. This should be a really good game, in, I think, in my opinion. Most definitely. Uh, I've heard around with the team, like the team, like talking earlier in the day that it, it should be really good competition for us, for non-district. Yeah, this should be a really good non-district matchup. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we haven't played Florence in a minute, yeah. so it's gonna be interesting the to last see time how we, we played Florence. We played. <laughs> yeah, it was when we played basketball. Yeah, when we played basketball. We know how that went. Yeah, I think we beat them. Yeah, we did. We did. Sure did. But since then we hanged up our our shoes, I guess. Yup. Left the court, went yep. to the field. Yup, yup. So about minute and fifty before the game starts. Do we have any key players for tonight? I feel like we we always do, but uh, everybody knows who they are. We have BJ Cooley, number eleven. Uh, Jan, number two. We have other other folks on their team that should play a big key role in our in the game tonight. Yeah, most definitely. Got a bunch of young players out there too. So it looks like a, a one minute marks hit. All teams are about to come out. Me uh, go back to their coaches and, and I think we're about to do the, the prayer and the click of allegiance. that the Miss South Association of Independent Schools recognizes that the spirit of the game of basketball lives in a skilled offense, effective defense, and a well-planned strategy. The spirit of this game cannot be maintained unless sportsmanship, ethics, and integrity are our number one priority. Good sportsmanship will be expected from all groups associated with NAIS activities. And we thank you for your continued participation. It's time for our final game of the night, Varsity Boys action. We'd ask everyone to please stand and remove all headgear. So we're about to do the prayer and the pledge. And the play of the national anthem. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good and gracious God, as we come together for this contest, we ask you to bless these athletes. Keep them safe from injury and harm, instill in them respect for each other, and reward them for their perseverance. Lead us all to the rewards of your kingdom, where you live and reign forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please remain standing for the playing of our national anthem. Yeah. 
And let's get some, uh, let's play some basketball. So we got our starting lineups being called out by Coach Sig. Number 10, Cam Lee. Number 4, Devorah Butley. Number 13, Jaden Houston. Number 15, Donovan Sistrom. And number 25, Nick Jones. So for Florence, we have number 10, number 25, number 4, 13, and 15 is their starting line. And now, ladies and gentlemen, get on your feet for your starting five. And our number two, So we got uh <laughs> Oh man. So it looks like Derek and number 13 are doing the tip tonight. Yep, They'll get yep, started. Yep. 13 versus 13. And so, so our starting lineup is BJ Cooley, Jan Williams, Derek Starling, and uh Will Andrews and Brandon Burks. Yep. They'll get it started. Russ about to call a tip off. Looks like Bruins are going to win the tip off. Good job, Derek Starlin. Looks like we got uh, Brandon. He's going to be handling the ball today. BJ with the ball. He's going to kick it to Will. Will with the ball is going to pass it to Jan. I think Jan's trying to set up the offense right here at top of the key. Sees Brandon. Sees BJ. Look alive. He's gonna kick it out to beat uh, Brandon. He's gonna be unguarded for a sec. We kick it to Will. Will's gonna drive baseline. He's gonna hit the floater. Oh, Ball's gonna mark. bounce out. Yep, yep. So one thing we saw a lot in the girls' game, Nick, was uh, really the defense for Florence was, was what was killing the Bruins and the turnovers. Yep, yep. Looks like we're coming out of man on defensive yeah, side of the ball. Yeah. Brandon gets the rebound. Comes down the court, uh, passes to BJ. BJ draws, pulls up, and off the mark. And number four gets rebounded in there. Looks like it's going to be 25, gets the re Brings up the court, 10 brings it up. Derek fighting for that rebound. Number 13. Oh, he's going to call a charge right there. Yeah. Amazing job by BJ. Craig Charles loving it under, over there, over there. He's loving it. Uh, Brandon brings up the ball. Sets up the offense. I mean, amazing job handling the ball right there by Brandon. Yup, yup. Jan has the ball, passes it to BJ. Derek, at the top of the key, pulls it. Off the mark, off the mark. Number 10 gets the rebound. So one thing Coach Howell told Derek, don't be afraid to shoot it. If you're wide open and you think it's a good shot, don't be afraid to shoot it. Looks like this is going to be a travel right here. Good defense right there is going to cause two too travels. Many steps, too many steps. So it looks like Florence is changing up their defense now. And they're going to press, looks like. Moving everybody up. So. Looks like number 10 is tying the sheets today. Stop play right here. Yeah. Brandon brings up the ball. Ready to start a play on offense. Uh, tipped out of bounds by number 13 of Florence. So it looks like they're going to be on the sideline. Still going to be St. Joe's ball. Yep. 
James gonna be taking that ball out. He's got BJ in the backcourt. There's a safety. Brandon with the ball. Like he's gonna pass it to Will and finds BJ. Ooh. BJ's gonna drive, pass it out to Derek. Derek Three. wide open. Oh, ah. The mark. Before he's moving the ball really fast, puts it up. Number 13 makes the basket and looks. Oh, this game looks like he gave him a tech, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, it looks like he gave him a tech. Yes. Yep. Yeah, I think he gave him a tech. I'm not sure what happened. Did you see it? No, I did not see it. Foreign fans not liking it over here. Dan Wynn taking the technical foul shot. Like Jan's the man taking out the ball. Jan's locked in right now. Jan the man. Taking the ball out. And nothing fuels Jan more than the talk. Yep, yep. Fans over here talking on to him. BJ, BJ with the three. Open shot. Oh, Off the marker also. Doesn't fall for him. Number 10 on the fast break. Pushing it. Ooh, a little spin move. Just out of control there, it looks like. Ref's gonna say, I'm not sure what he's gonna say it is. We're gonna call a personal foul on Will. So, Bruins, uh, sorry, Florence is gonna take that ball out. Number 10, it's gonna be in the corner. Looking to make a move, he's gonna drive, pump, uh, yeah. shot. And drops it. Nice little shot by number 10. Yeah. Little pull up jumper. Boone's Jan, fast, fast on break court. on the sideline. Floater. Ah. He's going to get two shots right there. It's going to be Jan's second time at the free throw line. That's one after your Bruins is number two, Jan Williams. Jan Jan seems to the first one. To make that first one. Like we were saying during the girls game, free throws always count. To make that second one too. Looks like Floyd's gonna bring up the ball, ready to set something up for Florence. Derek is heavily guarded number 25 right now. Takes the ball at number four. Come on, you're missing it, give it to him. Ten dribbles down, pulls up, and misses. Derek gets the rebound, passes out to Jan. Jan slows everything down. Passes it to Brandon, and Brandon takes up the court. Passes it to Jan. Jan drives through, ah, and call a travel call travel Jan. Out. Looks like he uh, jump stopped two times right there. Yeah, it's a nice little move though. Yeah, nice little move. Almost had it right there. DJ's Gordon. Solid defense so far by the Bruins. Ten shoots and off the mark. Ooh, Brandon's gonna get that rebound. Fast break or transition, sorry. Oh, oh puts a little move on nice him. little move. Ah, it's gonna fall short. DJ snatched rebound. that rebound. Jan from deep. Off the mark. Looks like Florence can get the rebound for Florence. Brings up the court. Pass it to 10. Pin pass it back to four. Pin looks like he wants the ball. He gets it. Touch the screen. Puts it up and off the mark. Jan gets the rebound. Brings up the court. Looks like he slowed everything down and set up play for the Bruins. 
Dan draws, slips and passes it to Brandon. <laughs> Off the mark with the three. Puck force and bring it up for four until once again. Pass it to 25. 25 draws, steps through. Misses off the mark. 25 gets the rebound back. Drives again. Puts it up and makes a two corner. It's going to be a good job by Florence. Yeah. Score right now is 6 to 2 with 2 minutes and 45 seconds left. Dan has the ball right now. Try trying to calm everything down. Derek sets a screen for Jan. Jan passes to Will. Will draws. J Jan draws. Puts up a floater. Off the mark with that one. Looks like it's going to be a foul. Looks like it's going to be on number 12 of Florence. And Jan's going to go to the free throw line once again. So they scored two to six with two minutes and 27 seconds left right now in the first. Jan sees the first one. One more foul, and that's going to put the Bruins in the bonus. Bruins subs coming in, Chase Cox coming in, and number three for the Bruins. Jan sinks. The second one, we got two for two at the charity truck. Looks like Forrest gonna bring it up for Florence. Guarded by Jan. Passes it to number 10. Guarded by BJ. BJ. Jan gets the rebound, drives up the court in transition. Goes for the layup. Jan misses the layup, but it looks like it's gonna be out of bounds on us, on the Bruins. Looks like the Bruins are going to be pressing now. Florence breaks the press. Passes, 25 passes to five. Well, for the three. And off the mark. If he gets rebound, though, puts it up and makes the two for me. Tough little shot by five. I mean, 15, sorry. <laughs> Looks like Brandon's coming in with the ball for the Bruins. Chase Cox has a screen for him. Looks like BJ comes off the flare screen. Abita's gonna set up another play. Pass it to Lil Brandon. Brandon passes to Jam. Jam finishes it in to Chase. Chase passes it to Brandon. Christian puts up a three. Off the mark with that one. 15 gets the rebound for Florence. Four brings it up. Ten gets the screen. Pass it to four. Four gets another screen for 25. 24 passes to 25. A switch on that. Ooh, oh, is that going to be a charge? Yes, it is. Nice little charge. Bruins are taking, like, what? I think three of our, three of the five of our fouls yeah. have been charges so far. Yeah. Coach Hell has been saying in practice, it seems like when we were in there uh, earlier today, wants a lot of charges. And it looks like he's getting them. Yeah, I know during practice, I th I'm pretty sure they still do the two-minute uh, charge drill. Yeah. Like BJ's going to put it on three and misses off the mark. Chase gets the rebound, though. Goes up and gets a foul. But Chase is going to go to uh, the lawn to shoot two. Those are a lot of shots that we want. Getting up to the rim. Causing those fouls, getting us to get those free throws. Yep. I mean, all week they've been working on shooting free throws, so they're good at it. Coach Hall used to tell us that free throws wins games. Looks like they're going to come down to that. Chase makes the first one. Chase misses the second one, though. Ten gets around, but passes to four, and four brings up the court for Florence. Four passes to five. Five passes to ten. Ten passes to four. Ten passes to five. And really good ball move by Florence. But they want to try to get a shot, it looks like. Ten holding up the top. We have 12 seconds left in the first quarter. But they want to take the last shot. 
Cook they're going to do ISO, but he drives Ooh. it. Jump ball. Good defense by Lil Brandon there. It's really good defense. And gives. It's going to be Florence ball, and we'll see what the Bruins do on defense. And just uh, with two seconds left. Tim picks up the shot and makes it at the buzzer. Nice little shot by Tim. So at the end of first, at the 10 end of to first quarter, our score, Florence, 10, 10 to 5. Uh, well, in, in the first quarter, I mean, really good defense yeah, from both, both teams. Sides. Yeah, for sure. Um, not a whole, it's a whole lot of offense, but it's moving really fast. But yeah, very fast paced. Yeah, That's one thing I'll say. Yeah. Uh, I think really just the key difference between like JV and varsity. One of the key things that I've seen is just uh, really just how fast paced it is, how intense it is, the athleticism. It's just a whole new level. It's like you're watching yeah. JV and you're like, okay, well, this guy's doing that, this guy's doing yeah. that. But then they get to varsity and they're like, ooh, bam. You know? Yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, see how the Bruins come out in the second quarter. See how they perform before halftime. Looks like it's going to be St. Joe Ball, probably. We will see. Uh, oh, yeah, it's going to be Sejo Ball. Looks like number three. It's going to be passing it in to start off the second quarter. On the floor for Bruins, number three, uh, Lil Brandon, Jan, Chase, and the BJ. So, Brandon brings up the ball for the Bruins. Passes number three. Three passes to BJ. BJ looks to drive, passes out to Chase. Chase pump fakes, draws, and passes to BJ. BJ pump fakes again, go to the floor to miss it. Looks like number three gets gives the rebound. And three passes it to the Brandon. Brandon looks to start an offensive play going. Everybody's moving around, try to get open. Brandon drives, passes it to Chase. Chase goes up. Uh, Chase traveled there. This is going to be Florence Ball. Four's going to bring it up for Florence. Jan's guarding him. Four passes to 10. 10 draws, passes to 25. 25 doesn't spin move, puts up a floater and misses. But it's going to be a foul, but it's going to be on Florence. On yep. number 10. 15. 15, correction. But Brandon's going to bring up the ball. And then drives to the corner, to the wing. Passes it to the Jan. Jan gets the screen from Chase. Look, pass, Jan passes it to BJ. BJ, BJ drives, pull up the three. Be Ooh, off the mark. He gets the beam up though, for the Bruins. He looks to start a play. Three drives to, look to the rim and sinks a two-pointer. Scores seven to ten. Florence is up. Four has the ball. Passes it to 25. 25 goes up and makes a two pointer. Moving fast. Spin move. Ooh, nice spin move. Ooh. Chris Porter. I mean, that's nasty. That was clean. Before bringing up the ball for Florence. Let's go, Nelson. by Jan. Brandon's out there, guard number 10. Switches off. Four has the ball. Four puts up a three and off the mark. Looks like Chris is going to bring up the ball. 
Pass it to Jan. Jan in the corner. Puts up a three. Off the mark again. A lot of threes been going up. Yes, a lot of threes been going up. Yeah. They're not falling for us. Clucky Ford's coming up the ball. Passes it to number 13. Clucky passes to 25. Passes it to four. Four passes it to 10. 10 passes to 13 on the wing. What about little Brandon? 10, 13 passes to 10. Top of the key. They're trying to cook up a play over there. And 10. Looks like there's going to be a foul. Give him the Bruins. Looks like the foul is going to be on Brandon. And each team has one foul for teams. Yep, score 9 to 12 right now. Looks like 13 is going to go to the line. There you go. Makes the first one. Looks like we got a good game on our hands right now. Yeah, you know, for sure. Like we said at the beginning of the game, this one can be a competition. Mm -hmm. ah, like James got to get the rebound off that free throw miss. James will bring it up. Let's get the Bruins started. Pass it to Lil Brandon on the wing. Lil Brandon does a spin. Pass it out to Jam in the corner. Jam passes it back to Lil Brandon on the wing. But Brandon wants to get a play from Coach Howell. Little handoff over there. To, and Jam passes it to Chris. Chris passes it to BJ. Ah, uh, he tried to force it in there. Or comes to, down the floor and puts up a crazy layup. But Chris Ford gets the rebound and goes down the floor for the Bruins. Puts up a layup and BJ puts Ooh. it back in for him. Nice little put back by BJ. Yeah. Yeah. Thought he was going to dunk it. And I know he's going to be talking about that one at school tomorrow. Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. Tight. Four passes 13. 13 is healthy guard by Chris. And he's off the mark with that layup. Brandon, Brandon Cooley gets the rebound. Passes it up to little Brandon. Brandon brings it up. Brandon drives. Gets the shot blocked. Back in the game for your Bruins, number four, Will Andrews. That looks like it'll so be the Bruins ball. Yep, score 11 to 13 right now. 33, uh, three minutes, 33 seconds left. Will's going to catch the ball. See Jan. Jan's going to pass to BJ. Pump fake. BJ's going to be in the high post. Be a nice little shot by BJ. That's going to tie the game. Bruins coming back right now. Lots of momentum right now for the Bruins. See if they can keep that up. Jan's guard number four. Four passes to 10. 10 gets the screen for 15. Nice little and shot by. Yep. Uh, 15 for Florence. Yep. Good job keeping their cool under all the pressure. BJ with the ball. He's gonna find his way to the high post, and that's gonna be a nice little floater by BJ. You can notice that's off two feet. Yeah, that's a really good floater by BJ. Gonna keep the game tied right now. Defensively, Bruins are looking amazing. Switching yeah. on screens, off. And that one slipped, and the floater gets through. And BJ misses BJ that got a little uppity right there. Tried to go dunk that thing. Seems like there's a lot of talking on the floor between Florence and uh, our Bruins. It's like BJ got a foul on the dunk that he missed, and he goes to the charity strike for more free throws. BJ seems to start first free throw. BJ misses that second free throw. 
Number four looks like he's trying to cook up a play for Florence. Passes to 10. Tim passes to 15. 10. 15 passes to four. Four dribbling through the lane and puts up a crazy layup again. But gets fouled. All the fouls on both sides. Yup. Of course, number four is gonna go to the line for two. Makes the first. Score 16-18. Looks like there were subs. Uh, number five came in for number 13 for Florence. Four makes the second free throw. Uh, Jam brings up the ball for the Bruins. Looks like he's going to hand off to Will Andrews. Will's going to pass it to Chris. Chris passes to BJ. He's on the wing looking for someone open. Passes to Chase. Chase passes back. Looks like BJ just got a call from Coach Howell. Puts up a three from deep and misses off the mark. Looks like 25 got the rebound. Passes to 10 for Florence. 10. 10 moving really fast in transition. 10 tally guarded by BJ. Switch on the screen. Switch back. Fouled hard on that one. Looks like number 10 is going to go to the free throw line. Looks like the foul is on Chase Cox on that one. And St. Joe has three fouls, and Florence has two. 10 makes the first. Ten makes a second. Uh, ten goes two two from the charity strike. That one the score is twenty one to sixteen with a minute and twenty left in the second. Like Jan passes to BJ. Will Andrews try and drive, put up a floater, misses off that one. Ooh. Four drives, put up a layup and sinks it. Nice little bucket by four. Uh, it's like Chris wants to go fast on that on now. Chris passes to Chase. Chase pump fakes. Passes to BJ. BJ looks like with the drive. Passes to Chase. Chase goes up and misses that one. And Ten on the fast break. Uh, Ooh, I think he traveled on that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Run like four times on that one. Just go, just go, just take it. Don't speed it, just take it. Just take it. You all right? Step down. 33 seconds left in the second. He got the first step. He's throwing it up. Like Chris wants to bring up the ball for the Bruins. 30 seconds left. Chris putting on the moves. Puts it a spin. Oh, crosses. Puts up a three. Off the mark with that one. Jank, BJ gets the rebound. Puts up the layup. Lex is on Cooley. number 10. 18 to 23 with nine seconds left in the second quarter. Looks like they're going to trap. 10. Going to go up. Chase with the. Uh, Chase wasn't able to get the outlet pass. Now we have our halftime show by Davis Hammond. Hello, everybody. This is Terry Castorino live from the Bruin Den. It's halftime here where the Bruins are down 18 to 23 to Florence. Uh, joining us on the halftime show, this is going to be Davis Hammond. Real quick, though, uh, quick score in the third quarter, 12-13 left. It's still a tied game down, in, down at uh, Lafayette where USM and Louisiana Lafayette Raging Cajuns are tied at 14 uh, 6.02 left in the third quarter. Louisville is up over UVA, 14 to zero. So here we are. I'm gonna turn it over to Davis Hammond. 
Hello, this is Davis Hammond for your Bruin Boys Halftime Show. I'm joined here, well, this is sponsored by Saloniki's Madison. So, if you ever want, or if you ever hungry for pizza or any type of Italian food, you know where to go. Salamuki's in Madison. Okay, I'm joined here by Meredith Holifield, a St. Joe student. And so, Meredith, what do you think? How how do you think the game has gone this week? Um, uh, th th today, it's going pretty great, I'd say. We might need a little bit of catching up though. Okay, so the Bruins are down. 23 to 18 they had a little bit of momentum going into the half and so hopefully that uh, transitions over to the next half so uh, so Mary how do you think this season is going for uh, the Bruin boys so far I think it's going pretty great they um, they're doing good in all their games okay, uh, so as you see it's 18 to 23 St. Joe is down St. Joe's going to battle very hard. You have to get their bear claws and just like dig into the ground. So how do you think that, how, what is your predictions for the uh, second half? Um, hopefully we catch up a little bit, but I think we'll do good. Yeah. So um, I know you told me that you really have never gone to Salamukis. No, I haven't. What do you recommend? Uh, okay. So. I like Salamukis a lot, and me personally, I would say that I, I like their uh, all their pizzas a lot. And but my favorite thing, everything on the menu is good, but my favorite thing would definitely have to be their fried ravioli balls that they put in like uh, they put like it in marinara sauce and everything. Ooh, that sounds yeah. good. I'll try it. Don't worry. Yeah. Miss McLaurin. Oh, she didn't hear me. Uh, that was one of my substitute teachers from forever. Yep. Uh, so, Bruins have five seniors this year. The Bruin boys do. That's a lot of seniors. Yep. How do you think that this is going to affect the team going into next year and the years of, uh, beyond? Well, usually we lose a lot of seniors, and then we're fine. So, if we keep going, I think we'll be good. Yeah, same here. Yeah, that's the thing with high school sports that you always lose some, but then you always have to gain some, though, yep. no matter what. So, um, Meredith, I know you're surrounded with JV a lot, basketball. Um, how do you think their season's going so far? Um, their season's going pretty great. Okay, now I have a question for you, Meredith. Okay. Okay, um... What what do you like better, a three-pointer or a dunk? Hmm. I don't really know. I like them both equally. You got to choose one, Meredith. Uh, okay. Uh, hmm. Probably a dunk. I think it's better. It's just a lot more exciting. Is there any other reasons why other than the excitement? Not really. Not any that is better than a uh, three-pointer. Uh -huh. So I will be starting a poll every single game to see who likes dunks and who likes three points. And at the end of the season, we will see who wins. I think dunks will win, for sure. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to give away my opinion until the very uh, last game, but they're both kind of equal at the same time, if you really think about it. Because one has more points, but like you said, one is like more excitement and more of a, like a momentum shift. Yep. I think it really motivates. Um, so, yeah, uh, as you saw, the Bruin girls, they lost. Uh, it was a really hard game, but I think that uh, they faced a really tough team in the Florence Eagles. So I think that the uh, girls should be able to bounce back and just do what they do all the time and win. Yeah. What was the score? Uh, I forgot, but... Uh, I have no I have no idea what the score was. I watched the game, but I don't remember what the score was. Oh, I see. But so it is 23 to 18. Bruins are down in the uh, first half of this game. It is a Thursday night, and the weather outside, even though we are in a gym, is 69 degrees, and I think the skies are pretty clear. But we are supposed to get some rain tomorrow, so that's good. Yeah. Seen right. the, the Bruin Lake has been. 
It's been pretty low. Like Bruin? Yeah. Yep, Blake Bruin. <laughs> you can almost see the car that's in there. <laughs> yeah. We got a uh, three minute warning on our halftime show. So, what is your prediction for the second half of today's game? I think we're going to win by a lot. How much? What's your score like, prediction? Hmm. 56 to 23. That's pretty ambiguous. I don't think that's what that word means. Uh oh. <laughs> well, I think that the Bruins are going to be able to pull out a win. They just got to grit and grind and get the, like I said earlier, they got to get those brewing claws and they got to dig into the floor. That's what they got to do. They got to dig deep and find that inner core brewing inside of them and just let it roar out. Yeah. See them, they look so pepped. Yep. Yep, I think the Bruins are coming out now, and so is the Florence Eagles. They're coming out now, warming up for this second half. Please do not leave. Uh, we will have more broadcasts by Malik and Nick coming next. Um, but so St. Joe plays next on Saturday. You gonna be there, Meredith? Um, I might have to show up. Yeah, yeah I might be. The Bruins. I might be there because Walt plays my brother. Yeah. So uh, they play on Saturday. And they play on Monday next week. I don't know the rest of the uh, next week's schedule, but I know they play on Monday and they play on Saturday. Yep. Yeah, I know Saturday is going to be a home game for the Bruins. And But we will not be airing that on uh, the BNN YouTube channel because it is a Saturday. And yeah. uh, we have a lot of stuff to do. So tomorrow, make sure to tune in to the uh, Bruin News Now uh, newscast. It'll come out around 8 o'clock in the morning. And... Uh, once again, it's 23 to 18 with about a minute left in the half. This halftime show is sponsored by Salamukis. I'm joined here by Mary Polifield, a St. Joe's student, and I'm Davis Hammond, your halftime host. So, um, with all much writing down, how have you liked doing halftime so far? It's been pretty great, actually. I kind of enjoy sitting here just talking. Talking, yeah. Yeah, and then the uh, sound kind of gets muted out from everybody else. Mm -hmm. It's kind of odd. But yeah. so, uh, hmm, what to talk about with this? Those Skittles right there look really good. Yep, but they aren't ours, so it's a Ten Commandment not to steal. Oh, okay. Thank you, Miss Peroni, for teaching me this. Yeah, uh, she's the first person to taught you that. No, but she just did it this year. Oh, okay, a reminder. And Miss Peroni is our tennis coach, so stay tuned for tennis if you really want to. So. Are you broadcasting tennis this year? No, I'm playing tennis this oh, year. Oh, okay. So somebody else has to do that. No. Okay. Okay, so it is 23 to 18 now, and the half has ended here at St. Joe. I'm joined here by Meredith Holifield, and I'm Davis Hammond. And uh, the end of the Bruin half. Soon we will get Nick and Malik back to cover the score. And the second half is starting now. Uh, this is your Davis Hammond halftime show, sponsored by... Uh, Sponsored by the uh, Salamukis in Madison. So if you're ever hungry, make sure to come down and get something from Salamukis. They got pizzas, raviolis. They got everything you can even think that's Italian. So, and they got an ice cream bar. So thank you, and Davis out. And so we're back. Score is 18-25 right now. Lawrence came out and scored two points. Hopefully the Bruins start to drive more and not take the, so many shots. Yeah, uh, looks like they need to drop to the basket a little bit more. Looks like they are doing that. And like there's a foul. Get your hand off of him, Get to the basket, get a couple more fouls, get to the free throw line, make those shots. Looks like Jan will be taking it out on the baseline for the Bruins. Looks like they're about to run an inbound play right here. I had to assume probably try to get a little three-pointer right here. Yep. Pass it to Will. Will pass it to BJ. B of pump fakes. Good pump fakes. Jan shoots and off the mark with that one. Tim brings it up for Florence. Oh, 
scores for Torrance. Pass it 25 to 10. Feeds 13 in the post, but Bruins are all over that right there. Uh, ball was dribbling. loose. Yep. 13 with the ball, spin move. That's a that's a nice move by 13 right there. Yeah. Bands gonna bring it up for the Bruins uh, to get something going. Brandon passes to BJ. BJ draws, puts up a flutter, gets blocked by 25, and 25 comes up with the rebound. 15 passes to 10. 10 puts on a little dribble through to his legs, draws, and out of control he travels. Yeah, I noticed a couple things about that. Typically when they're driving, they're a little bit out of control. That's results in a couple charges. So it's not joke. Looks like Brandon's gonna bring up the ball for the Bruins. That hands it off to BJ, BJ pump fix. Will Andrew passes it to Jan, Jan picks it, and BJ off the mark with that one, but Will gets the rebound, picks it up and misses. Play 25 can bring it up for Florence, pass it to 10 on the wing in transition. Like there's gonna be a foul on the floor. <laughs> Coach Howell, Howell saying, "Move your feet." Yeah, that's that's gonna get called. Ah, Good defense by, by BJ. BJ on the fast break, Euro step in. Ah, I think it's gonna be a charge. Like Brandon's gonna go to the free throw line. Line here, Bruins, number 11, DJ Cooley. We're oh, sorry, that was going to be uh, off a defensive foul. Defense. Like BJ's going to take his time foul. to feed the lawn. Does his routine, puts it up, and makes the first. So score 19-27 right now. Five minutes, 27 seconds. Vida goes two for two from the line. <laughs> Take four, she bring it up. Pass to 13. Tight pass to number 10, but misses the layup. 25 goes up and makes a two point for points. Score is 31 to 20. Should be. I guess it's 29 to 20. Uh, looks like Woods um, trying to draw something up. Jan. Oh! Charge on Chase. Good job, Jamar. Stand over the towers on number 10, Chase Cox. Looks like 15 will be taking it out for Florence. Cut to the wet spot on the floor. <coughs> don't know how that got there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that one did get there. So the score 20 to 29. Five minutes, nine seconds left in the third quarter. Ref checking the uh, floor, make sure there's no. Dead spots. Oh, like four is coming up for Florence. Hands it off to number 10. 10 looks for number 15, gets it. And uh, the loose ball goes to the Bruins. But Brandon's gonna bring it up. Crosses, passes it to BJ, BJ puts up a three. Off the mark with that one. 25 gets a rebound. BJ, BJ's tightly on him. 
stolen by steal. On the fast break, he's gonna go up. And one. And one. And one. Nice take by Will Andrews there. Love to see it. Like he's gonna go for one at the line. Will looks to make this one for Bruins. Puts it up and makes it. So the score is 23 to 29 with four minutes and 20 seconds left in the third quarter. So being trying to back up successfully. Fast break. It's like a three on three. Kicks it out to Jan. Ah, that's going to be a card. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Jan almost did him bad. It's like Coach Howell wanted him to step through there and just finish wow. easily. That's uh, where you got a jump stop right there. Yeah. Just unfortunate for Jan. Uh, and the Bruins call a timeout with 4.07 left in the third. Score is 23 to 29. This looks like it's a different game from the first from the first half, honestly. Yeah, but most definitely. Yeah, looks like they're more under control than what they were. Cause they came out, they came, they came out strong, but not strong enough. Uh, I mean, on Florence side, I mean, they they play defense really well. And oh, and uh, for this timeout, sponsoring this timeout, we have market, mar uh, marketing design and Marcus Berger, which is Nicholas's dad. Oh, my dad. <laughs> Look at that. Shout out, Mr. Marcus. Shout out. Hopefully he's watching. He's probably tuning in. So Bruins gonna come back onto the court, wait for Florence to come out. Florence comes out, ready to play. They will be on offense this go round. Bruins will be on defense. But the parents trying to get everybody hyped up, trying to get it going. Really good atmosphere in the Bruin Den tonight. Click four is going to bring it up for Florence. 25 passes it to four. Four looks to nobody. Beat it, passes it to number 13 of Florence. But misses the 13 misses the layup for Florence. Looks like Brandon's going to bring it up. Come on, Nook, we got to knock them down, baby. Let's go. You all right? You all right? Come on. Brandon wants to ice the ball this one. Does a little move, try to get separation. BJ looks in the corner, drives, passes it out, but misses Jan on that one. Hey, that's all right. Come on. It's going to be Florence's ball. It's over with. Let's go. You good? It's mine right. Let's go. Floor brings it up, guarded by Jan Williams of the Bruins. Jan Tally guards him. Four passes to 10 on the wing. What about Brandon? Puts up a shot and off the mark with that one. But 13 gets the rebound for Florence. Passes it out to number 10 for a three. And off the mark with that one. But 10 gets his own rebound. But goes to Chase Cox at the Bruins. Brand Brandon on the fast break. For three for Will Andrews. Bang! Bang, Will Andrews for three. Nice little Bruin bucket. First three of the night for the Bruins. Men on defense. 13 puts up a shot off the mark with that one. But there's a foul on the floor. On number 25 of Florence, he has two. Like, Looks like Brandon's gonna bring up the ball for the Bruins. Brandon passes to Will Andrews. To BJ. Ah, like, uh, they called a travel on BJ. It'll be Florence ball. On the sideline. 
15 pass in the four. Four brings it up. Pass it 25. Lefau gets a screen. Pass it to 10. 10 passes it to four. Gets a screen. Pass it to 25. 25 gets another screen. 10 puts it up. Misses on that one. But 13 gets a rebound. Goes up and misses. 15 goes up but gets fouled on that one by... Let's see who's on. I was going to be on Brandon Burks. 15 goes to Lon for Florence. And this free throw is going to be sponsored by the insurance company. Come on, man. They free. Let's go. Back in the game for your Bruins, number three, Chris Gordon. 15 missed the first. Give me one. Fifteen misses the second also. On, Jan man, gets the rebound. Free, Score is twenty-six to twenty-nine. Florence is up with a minute and fifty left in the third. Jan passes it to Will Andrews. Will Andrews passes it to BJ. He yeah, passes the Jan on the wing. Jan draws, puts up a shot floater, and misses. Lawrence draws and gets an L1. I believe the ref suffers from blindness. Uh, I didn't see anything there on that one, but Lawrence gets the call. So number 10 is going to the line for Florence for one. Puts it up and makes it. Good job, Cam. It's going to increase Florence's lead by Let's six. Go, go. Chris looks to pass it to beat uh, Jan, excuse me. Chase caught to the paint and one. I mean, that's just a nice bucket by Chase. Chase looks to finish the uh, three-point play. Chase misses the free throw. Rebound number 15 of Florence. Ooh. I think he traveled there, but missed call. Slight, slight travel. 25 in the paint, spin moves. Goes up and makes the layup for Florence. Grown man moves, man. Good job. <laughs> Chris brings it up for the Bruins with a minute left in the third quarter. Landry's in the wing. He's going to move. Pass it to Chris. Chris feeds it to BJ in the paint. BJ goes up, gets fouled by number four. And the ref is not the number four. Room four is complaining to the ref. Has a line for your Bruins, number 11, BJ Cooley. BJ yeah, goes to line again. Looks to get two for the Bruins. Let's see if he gets them. BJ seems the first. That's one for the Bruins. Can he get two? Can he is the question. And he does not. Out of bounds on the Bruins. Like Florence will bring up the ball. Four passes up to 10. He does it back to four. 10 puts on the, four puts on the move, excuse me. Four passes at 25, 25, looks to dribble in the paint. Passes out to 13, 13 drives and missed the layup, but rebound by number 15 of Florence. He passes out to 25, 25 looks to drive, he does, misses the layup, gets it on rebound, and puts it back up and makes the layup for Florence. That's another <laughs> tough basket. Yeah. Dan looks to drive for the Bruins. And he travels. Looks like Coach, press. Yeah, it looks like Coach Howell's gonna call that full court press. 
Uh, they caught a block immediately. Beer tried to get a charge. Yeah, and that's gonna be one and one for Florence. Rins hit the or will it? That's gonna hurt him a little bit going into this BJ's fourth quarter. First foul of the game. Four at the line for Florence missed the first. Boilers to make the second one. And he misses it again. He goes to 0 for 2. Damn. up the half court shot, but misses. At the end of the third quarter, our score, Florence, 36, St. Joe's, 29. Going into the fourth quarter, the Bruins are down 36 to 29. I mean, so far we've stayed in this game pretty good. Uh, I think we've been competing good today. Yeah, like we said at the beginning of the game, this is gonna be really good non-district competition. Yeah, this is one of the tougher teams we'll see in the season. Yeah. Uh, what's for? It's a four A public school. I think so. Four A. So I mean, this is probably one of the better competitions the Bruins will see all year. For Just getting them prepped yeah. for the playoffs. Yeah, for district play, which which we have a lot of powerhouses, honestly. Um, MRA prep, JA. For to uh, name a few of the powerhouses in our district for 6A. So Bruins and uh, Bruins and Florence are going to come out, ba uh, come back out to the floor. St. Joe's going to get the ball to start off the fourth quarter. <laughs> We're trying to get good luck over here at me and Malik. Mm, gots to. Hopefully we'll give it to him. He can pass it in to Brandon to start the fourth quarter off. Brandon dro dribbles to the wing. Pass it to Jan. Jan drop, dribbles. Pass it to BJ. He looks for first one on. Someone open. And they draws. Pass it to right, little Brandon in the corner. And then draws to regroup himself. Pass it to Chase. Chase draws. Puts it up and out of bounds on Florence. It's like Brandon's, we take little. Excuse me, BJ will be taking, oh, excuse me again. Jan will be taking it out for the Bruins. Pass it to BJ, BJ put it to three. Off the mark with that one. There you go. We'll pass it to 13 for Florence. 14, 13 draws, passes it out to 10. Twenty-five with the ball at the wing. Ten with the ball on the other wing. Pass it to twenty-five. Pass twenty-five passes to four. Four looks to, for number ten. Ten passes to twenty-five on the wing. I was trying to look for someone to open, but no one's. Everybody's getting guarded by the Bruins. Really good defense right now. Twenty-five with the top of the key. Has it to four, 13 in the post. Puts up a floater. That's a nice little shot by 13. Yeah. Grown man move, baby, good shot. Bruins down by nine points right now. Brandon on the wing, pass it to Jan. Jan puts up a three. Off the mark with that one, front iron. Number four for Florence, taking the ball down the court. Gonna run through the lane and wide open layup for number four. So they have miscommunication. 
Looks like the Browns take a timeout to try to regroup himself. So we got a timeout. Coach Hall looks like he has a lot of words to say for the Bruins. Yes, sir. You already know it. He already knows exactly. It's really just the small things here and there. A couple points. Yeah. Score is 29. The Bruins have 29. The Florence has 40. Six minutes left in the fourth quarter. Let's see if the Bruins can come out with the win. The even session looks like they're getting turnover there to try to bring some spirit to the Bruins on the court. Looks like Brandon's jumping up the ball for the Bruins. Guarded by number 10, pass to Will. Switch on that. Will's gonna find Jan. He find BJ. Will, down in the post, is gonna go up. He's gonna get fouled. <laughs> Those are the shots that we want. Those are the shots that we want. Like Will. Looks like Will's gonna go to the line for two. So can get both of them. Makes the first. Make first one. Misses the second. They're close to lead down to ten points. Yep. BJ's heavily guarding number 25 right now. BJ switches off on number 10. Top of the key. And back to, the, to the four. In the corner again. Doubles up to the top of the key. The 13 wants the ball in the post, but does not receive it. Twenty five at the ball in the wing. Just to drive in the, in the paint. There's a spin move. The left hander floater puts it in. Like Brandon has it on the wing. Looks to drive, but does not. Tin out entirely guarded. Has the Will Andrews. Will Andrews drives, puts up a floater off the mark. Will gets the rebound, puts it back up, and makes it for the Bruins. Brings with the Bruins within 10. 13 with an easy layup on the other end. One problem with that uh, full court layup is if that middle guy doesn't get back. It'll hurt the Bruins in the long run. Ooh, nice Ooh, little pump. Little. Nice little move by Jan B. with the three. Bang! Oh. Jan Michael with the three. Nothing but net. Cuts the lead down to 10. Looks like Florence gonna get a timeout because the Brandons had him trapped wow. in, the, in the corner. Looks like the Bruins wanted to press on it and they successfully did. And forced the Eagles to uh, take a timeout. Yep. Three minutes, 59 seconds left. Score 45, four, sorry, score 44 to 35. Bruins down by nine. So Bruins gonna come back out to the court. Oh. Like the Bruins come out in the press. Defense chance going on with the crowd. Four looks to break the press, and they do. And do. 15 drives, pick up a floater, and makes it for the Eagles. Brandon to drive fast down the court.
Man looks for some time to get somebody open. He gets up a three off the mark with that one, but Chris gets the rebound, puts it up off the. Looks like there's gonna be a jump ball. Let's see who he goes to. He goes. Looks like he's going to Florence. Yeah. Let's go. Like Florence will be taking go, out the ball, go. taking the ball out with this one. Four drives down the, takes down the ball down the court. Pass is number ten, but Chris gets a steal, and he's fouled. Nice steal by Chris on that one. Flagrant foul on Florence. It's about to be a flagrant foul on Florence. Um, and let's see what they, the refs are going to do. It looks like Chris will be taking the, the flagrant free throws. Yep, for the Bruins. Bruins down by 11. These free throws could come clutch late in the game. Makes the first. Gonna cut the lead down to 10. Just with the second flagrant free throw, makes it. And the Bruins will retain possession with it being a flagrant uh, foul. So, hope we come up with more points on this offensive drive. Craig Brandon will be taking the ball up for the Bruins. Drives to BJ in the corner. BJ brings it up, passes to Jam. Jam passes back to BJ. BJ pump fakes. Passes to Chase, Chase in the paint. Drives, puts it up, and misses with that one, but gets his rebound back. Chase goes right up. Zone. Rebound going and back makes up. It. Some momentum for the Bruins right there. Bruins down by seven. Oh, they got to find a man on defense. They got to find a man. Oh, they're trapping. Jump ball. It's going to cause the jump ball. It's going to go to the Bruins. Bruins will get possession on this drive. And it's the small things like this that can uh, get the Bruins back into the game with two minutes and 37 seconds left. Down Momentum by seven. changer for sure. Like Brandon will be up the ball for the Bruins. Drives to the wing. Finds Find chase, chase. Wide open. And uh, uh, just loses the ball. I don't know what happened. I'm not sure either. Like Jan trying to, trying to trap on uh, the guards on uh, Florence. 25 on the wing for Florence. Passes 10 at the top of the key. 10 slips. And He's gonna Florence call a timeout. gets a timeout. Florence fans wanting a foul for some reason. Um, I mean, this really good defense by Brandon at the top of the key. Refs are not studying the fan, the fans of the Florence at all. Yeah. Bruins got a little bit of momentum. Florence called a little timeout. See if that will change anything. Bruins still down by seven right now with two minutes and five seconds left. So with the same five going with two minutes and five seconds left in the fourth. Let's hear it, Bruins fans. Defense. Like Florence will be taking out the ball. Four takes out the backcourt. Jan, Tally guarding him. Ball goes off of BJ's leg and Florence will retain possession on the sideline. It's a huge possession in the game right now. For sure.
Play 25 will get the ball for Florence. Pass it to Ford. The top of the key. Played for a wide open man. 15, but gets fouled. Ref's gonna call a foul. He's gonna get uh, BJ's second foul of the game. He's gonna take the ball out. Neither team is in the bonus right now. Click 15 will take the ball out for Florence and look to find somebody. Passes it to number 10 in the backcourt. What about Brandon? Find somebody in the paint. Find the wild man and lays it up. Thought there was a travel there for a second, but uh, I thought guess so too. Jam puts up a three. Bang! Ooh. And just like that, Bruins are down by six with that three pointer by Jam. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Like ooh. to see it. We just like to see it. I mean, that's just an amazing three pointer by Jan. Really a game changer right there. Hope this late in the game. Yeah. Hopefully that keeps the momentum on the Bruins side. Keep it in that momentum. Game. Uh, I think Florence took a timeout on that one. Um, cut the Florence catcher driving up a play over there. Yeah, it looks like it. And I think they're just going to try to – Florence's best bet right here is going to try to hold hold the ball for as long as they can and try to keep that six-point lead. A minute and 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. If I will take it out for Florence. Look to find open man number 10. Going to trap him. Going to find 25. Ooh, deflection. Jan the Michael. BJ is going to go up. Oh, misses the layup. Can't miss those. Cut Coach Howell want to call a time. Oh, no. Never mind. There's a, there's a foul on the floor. Oh, Coach Howell tried to call a timeout. Tech 25 will take the ball out for Florence. Excuse me. Finds the open man in the middle of the floor. Will cut the drive. Pass to 25. 25. Pass it to 10. What about Brandon? Um, I did not see a foul though. Did you, Malik? I did not either. It looked like the refs. I don't know what the refs are on today. I don't, I don't know, but uh, I don't know what they had to eat for lunch. Cut that foul was on Brandon. He has four. Like Florence passes to 10 in the backcourt. He's dead. Found the wobble man and makes a layup. There we go. There we go. There we go. Down by game. five. Down by five is your St. Joe Bruins. Chris Porter and we got a game a on our hands, three. folks. 38 seconds left. It's a really nice three. 38.7 seconds left in the game. Score is 45 to 50. Coach Child called timeout. Looks, he's like he's telling the Bruin, the Bruin players what to do, how to finish the game out. I mean, this, this, like we said earlier, I mean, we keep saying competition. This is a really good game. Yeah, this is probably one of the better teams we'll see all year yeah. for a school. Uh, score today, uh, Southern Miss, Louisiana Raging Cajuns game is 21-14 in the fourth. Eight minutes, 26 seconds left. We're back on the floor. Florence passing it in. 25 passes 10. 10 will take a ring up the court. Mm. I thought it was a foul there. 
Jay tried to foul. Stop the clock. They're going to foul him right there. Chris Flurry fouls him. The smart foul. Smart foul. And this is when we talk about free throws, how free throws could be a game changer. Well, actually, they're not in the bonus, so they're going to have to take the ball out. Chris has three fouls on the night. 25 looks to pass in for Florence. Pass it in the backcourt, number 10. 10 Tally guard by Jan. Jan fouls. That's going to put them in the bonus. So now if they get fouled again, they're going to get a free throw. Should help a little bit. Now we can, now Bruins can get a uh, transition. So 10 to go for, to the free line for two. Get free, Cam, let's go. Makes the first. Makes the first one. Going to increase their lead by six points. To the free throw and makes it. So a seven point lead for Florence. And the ball. 30 seconds left. Yeah, put up a three. Foul. Oh, and, and that's going to be a. And oh my God, Jan Michael. Big time players I mean, make big time plays in big time games. You love mean, to see it for the Bruins. I mean, you love to see it. Three, and he gets his free throw. Three, and he gets his free throw. And, uh, Florence, Florence shivering in their boots right now. Only up by four. Jan looks to go make it a four-point play to end it. It's like Will Andrews coming in to sub. It's like we got a roster full of guards right now. Dan can't finish the four-point play. But Chris gets the oh. rebound. And we're going to need to make a play. He's going to go up, get the rebound. Hey! And Brandon Burks and Brandon with the Burks. and one. Oh, sorry, with the, with the bucket. With my the bad, bucket. my bad. <laughs> Bruins down by two points with seven with seven seconds left. Getting a little excited over there, Malik. Getting a little excited. But it is exciting Might have game. an overtime on our hands. Bruins down by two with 7.8 seconds. And Florence will be taking out the ball after this timeout. Florence in the bonus. So, so we'll see how this you goes. Would, you would think the Bruins will come out and press, right? I think they'll. I think they'll definitely come out in a press. Uh, if it comes to it, I think they're going to foul. If they don't get the steal. They're probably going to foul. And then uh, I'm not sure how many timeouts the Bruins the have left, but I mean, yeah, you're right. A foul to foul and take them to the line, and then ho hopefully they the miss the free throws. One. Hopefully they get missed free throws, and then and you call a timeout. But I'm not sure. Seems like seems like the Bruins fans are getting hyped right now. I mean, it seems like it's the most they get turned right now. You love to see it. Wish we were over there to join them, Malik, but we're over here, but we're cheering them on from over here on the Eagles side. And the Eagles side, they're going crazy too. We have a game on our hands, Malik. We have Malik. a game on our hands. The Bruin Trap is getting turned right now. <laughs> And looks like we're going man to man, I think. Yeah, we're going man to man on uh, defense. 7.8 seconds left. 52 to 50. Burns down by two. Hoping to get a, a steal and just lay it up and go Everybody's to overtime. Everybody's getting base guarded right now. Oh, and he he traveled. I saw the travel. He traveled. But the, oh, it looks he like he's going to the Bruins. Bruins are going to get the ball back. With 6.6 seconds left. Bruins are going to get the ball back. Uh-oh. Upset alert. 
Upset alert. We have a game on our hands, fans. And folks, we got a game on our hands. Bruins down by two with 6.6 .6 seconds left. Let's see what Bruins are about to cook up. And the Bruins parents are going crazy right now. Tight little game. Student section right now is getting turned. And uh, Florence, Florence coach trying to get an estimation for the refs and does not get one. But it looks like it will be Bruins ball on the baseline. 6.6 .6 seconds left. Scores 50 to 20. The Bruins are down. And Nick, we might be here for another couple quarters. Been a heck of a game. Bruins got some momentum. And uh, St. Joe's side is getting turned right now. We love to see it. We love to see the energy. Is Every year, the energy in the Bruins gin gets, it just gets, grows and grows. It just gets better like every year. And, the, and the, hoping the players can feed off of it. Bruins about to run their inbound play. Ball's loose. Ball goes out. And looks, I'm not sure whose ball it is. I don't think that was a play that was drawn up. I don't think that was either. Unfortunately, it looks like Florence is going to win this game. And that will end the game. That's going to end the game. Score 50 to 52. And a good one. That was a good one, folks. Oh, we'll see y'all next week. Signing off, I'm Malika Jew. I'm Nick Berger. See, see you next time. Next, next time, folks. Go Bruins. This is Terry Casarino with Bruins Sports Radio and Bruins News Now. And that's it for tonight's game. The final from here on the St. Joe campus. The Bruins fall to Florence 52 to 50.